All right, so another example here of solving an inconsistent system. And again, what we're trying to do is just determine if a system of linear equation has uh, no solutions or not. So again, we're using elimination by addition in these examples. So we're going to try to solve the system, if possible, if, if a solution exists. 2x plus y plus 3z equals 4. We've got negative 3x minus y minus 4z equals 5. x plus y plus 2z equals 0. To me, it looks like it's going to be easiest to eliminate the y's. I think I'm going to use the first and second equation to eliminate the y's, uh, since we have a positive y and a negative y. And then I'm going to use the second equation and the third equation for the same reason. I've got a negative y and a positive y. So that's kind of my initial strategy here to get me going. So, all right, so 2x plus y plus 3z equals 4. We've got negative 3x minus y minus 4z equals 5. Let's see if we add those together. Uh, 2x plus negative 3x would be negative 1x. Positive y minus y is 0y. 3z plus a negative 4z would be negative 1z. And then we've got 4 plus 5, which would give us 9. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do the same thing with the, uh, the, the, the second and third equations. So negative 3x minus y minus 4z equals 5. And then we've got x plus y plus 2z equals 0. Well, again, if we just add those up uh, immediately, we'll get negative 3x plus 1x will be negative 2x. Our y's will cancel out. Uh, we've got negative 4z plus 2z, which will be negative 2z equals 5. And now I'm going to take these two equations that I just produced. And again, we would try to do elimination by addition to, if possible, to reduce it just to a single variable. And then we would be able to solve for that variable. So we've got negative x minus z equals 9. And then we have negative 2x minus 2z equals 5. If we want to try to get the x's to cancel out, for example, uh, we've got a negative 2x. If we had a positive 2x, then those would cancel out. So to get my, uh, my positive 2x in my top row, I would have to multiply both sides by, by negative 2. But notice if we do that, what's going to happen here. Um, our, our first equation, if we distribute, negative 2 times uh, negative x will be positive 2x we'll get a positive 2z. And then 9 times negative 2 will be negative 18. We've still got our original second equation. We're leaving that one alone. Negative 2x minus 2z equals 5. But notice now if we do our elimination by addition, we get 2x plus negative 2x. Well, that's 0x. 2z plus negative 2z is 0z. So we've got 0 on the left. Negative 18 plus 5 is going to be negative 13. So we've kind of uh, reached this, again, this, this clearly uh, not true statement. Uh, that, that's not at all correct. So again, when you reach one of these sort of uh, these equations where you have some number that's equal to some other number that clearly doesn't make sense, again, that tells us that we really have no solution to our system of equations. And again, we call it, we say that that system is what's called inconsistent. So, well, we just had originally an inconsistent system of equations, uh, so therefore it has no solutions.